friends, great to see you. Are you having a good day? Oh, I'm so glad. How about a good week? Yes. Did you get a chance to get out yesterday and enjoy all of the warm weather? Oh, I sure did too. And today, it's supposed to be even warmer. Spring is definitely here, isn't it? In fact, I'll bet that you can see little peaks of green coming out of the ground. If you just look around, you can be a detective and you know what you're gonna be finding? You're gonna be finding evidence of how much God loves us. And that's what we've been talking about, isn't it? We've been talking all about God's love during this time of the church year. Now, does anybody remember what this time is called? It's called Lent, right? Who said that? You guys are so smart. And Lent is the time leading up to Easter when we think about God and, and how much we uh, love God and God loves us. And we can grow in all of that knowledge and in our faith. And that helps us to be better people. And so we have been talking all about God's love. This is our third week. Can you believe it? It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? For me too. Now, the first week, who remembers what we learned about the first week? Yeah, we learned about that God's love is generous. Generous means that God gives us whatever we need, including sending God's own son to die for us. And that's what we celebrate because on Easter, he not only died, but he came back to life, didn't he? He sure did. That's the best news ever. How generous is God's love? Do you remember? So generous that God loves the whole world. That's a lot, isn't it? Sure is. And then next, last week, we talked about something else with God's love. Do you remember? Do you remember where I, were, what are, where I was last week? I was out in the desert, wasn't I? With that long road that stretched behind me. I kind of had green hair. That, that, uh, that, wasn't, uh, that was a little bit of a mistake, but um, it was fun. Green is always fun. But we talked about how God's love is lasting. Just like that road that was behind me last week, God's love just keeps going and going and going. It never runs out. It goes longer than the Energizer Bunny. In fact, we said that God's love lasts longer than a zillion gajillion years. That's really long. And that's what we can count on. That's why we can always count on God's love. Well, today we're going to talk about another part of God's love that we can count on that's really good news for us. So not only is God's love generous and lasting, but God's love is also enough. This is what I talked to the adults in Sunday, on Sunday about. We talked about how God's love is enough. And I wanted to share it with you too, because it's really important. It's important to know that no matter what we're doing, God is all we need. Now, who knows what enough means? Yeah, those are good those are good answers. God's love means that you don't need anything more. If you have enough, you don't need more. You might want more. We always want more, don't we? But we don't need more. And there is a difference. Now, grown-ups have a hard time with this too, knowing how much is enough. But if we just think about if we have everything we need, then that's enough. That's why I wanted to be out here in this sunflower field. Isn't this beautiful? Now I realize that sunflowers normally come out in the fall, but they're one of my favorite flowers. I think because they're yellow and bright and cheery and we can all use that, can't we? Oh, I just thought that this was beautiful. Isn't this um, enough beauty? It is for me. 
And not only do we have the sunflowers, but look, there's a beautiful sunset behind us. This is a reminder that the love that God shows us in nature is enough beauty. It's enough to satisfy our hearts. If I'm having a bad day and I see something that looks like this, oh, all of a sudden I'm gonna be feeling better. How about you? Yeah, would seeing something like this make you happy too? It sure would, it sure would. So we can celebrate that God's love is enough for us. And the Bible tells us this as well. We find it in the book of Psalms. Who remembers what the Psalms were used for way, way, way back when there was a temple in Israel? If you said that they were used as songs and sung in part of worship, you are very smart because that's exactly what they were used for. Some people still sing them today, but we're just gonna read this one right now. It comes from Psalm 103, verses one and five. And this is what it says. It says, let all, I, all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Isn't that cool? God's love fills us up. And not just fills us up, but fills us up with good things. Who wants to be filled up with good things? I sure do. So we can trust that God's love is enough. God's always going to take care of us. Do you know why? Because God loves us, right? God is going to fill us up and give us everything we need so that we don't have to worry about anything. Now, sometimes people have bad times. They're sad or things don't go their way. And sometimes they think that God doesn't love them anymore. Well, let me promise you something. Are you listening? That's not true. Nothing will ever keep God from loving you. I promise you that. God will always love you no matter what. And God's love will always be enough for you no matter what. That means that we can trust God in happy times and sad times. And God's love will be enough and we'll have all we need when things are going our way and when things aren't going our way. And when we have bad days. We all have bad days, don't we? Yeah, we sure do. But the good news is, is that we can always trust God because God's love is enough and God fills us up. Let me show you what I mean. Who knows what this is? It's a balloon, right? Who likes to play with balloons? I do. They're fun if you fill them with helium and they go all the way up to the ceiling. And they're also fun just to blow up and bat around, aren't they? They sure are. Now, how much fun would this balloon be to play with? Not much, right? Yeah, it's pretty, um, it's pretty limp. What does this balloon need so that it could be fun to play with? Air. You're right. The balloon needs to be filled with air. So, okay, I, I can take care of that. Hang on. There you go. How's that? Is that good? Would this be a fun balloon to play with? No? Who said no? <laughs> It really wouldn't be, would it? Even if I tied it up, which, which I, I didn't do. Why would this not be very fun to play with? Because it doesn't have enough air, right? Yeah, it's not filled up. Sometimes when we look to other things in life to fill us up, we only get filled part way because only God's love for us is really enough. Only God is going to fill us up with everything we need. Who knows why that is? Well, I'll tell you. Only God can fill us up. And only God's love is enough for us because God created us, right? So if God created us, 
then doesn't it make sense that God knows what we need? And God loves us so much that God wants us to have everything that we need. So God fills us up with good things, as the psalm says. And then watch what happens. We're going to fill this balloon up. Might take me just a moment. All right, let me, let me tie this here. That's always the hardest thing with the balloon, isn't it? I got it. All right. Now, that's a proper balloon, isn't it? Yes, that is a good looking balloon. That's a balloon that we could play with. It went out of screen. And so it's a good reminder that whenever we want to uh, be filled up, all we need to do is to look to God and God will fill us up and give us everything we need, no matter what. We can trust that about God, just like the balloon gets filled up and is enough no matter what, God's love will fill us up no matter what. We seem to be having technical difficulties. So if you can hear me, I'm going to get the technical difficulties back. All right. Hold that thought. Are you there? Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Sometimes cameras just stop working. I don't know why it just happens. And that's a, actually a good thing to remember. Cameras and everything of the world, sometimes they don't work right. Sometimes they're not enough. But we can always, always trust in God, can't we? When we trust in the world, sometimes things might go wrong, like the camera going out just now. And then we have to fix it or we have to give up on it or something. But when we trust in God, like the psalmist says, God will fill us up with good things. God will always give us everything that we need. And like the balloon, we'll have everything and we'll be able to live the life that God created us for. We're never going to find that in the world. When we look to things in the world, they can maybe wear out or go out like the camera just did. But when we trust in God, we will always have all that we need and it will always be enough. Who remembers the story of Goldilocks and the three bears? Which one of those three bears was just right? Do you remember? The baby bear, right? Well, God's love is like the baby bear. It's not too much, it's not too little. God's love for us is just right. It's enough, it fills us up so that we don't have to worry about anything and we don't need anything. This is part of the good, good, good news that we're celebrating about God's love. And this is what we can learn in this Lenten season and really throughout our lives. Who's gonna join me in letting other people know that God's love is enough and we can trust in God even more than we can trust in the things of the world. Who's going to join me in that? Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. That's great. Now, I want you to have a reminder that God's love is enough. So get out your crosses and you will find an E. E for enough. We'll pull this off of here. And we're going to put it right down here. See what we're doing? We've got here, whoops, here, and here. I pointed wrong, didn't I? Where do you think we're going to go next week? I'll bet it's there. You'll just have to wait and find out. 
I'm also not going to tell you what that letter is. But if you join me next week, guess what? You will find out. And we will be talking more about God's love then. We will be talking not only about how God's love is generous and lasting and enough, but God's love is something else as well. Isn't that wonderful? Well, let's pray and let's thank God for this amazing love that we can always count on no matter what. God, thank you so much that your, God, that your love is always enough for us. Thank you that your love fills us up and that it means we don't have to worry about anything. Help us to understand, God, that sometimes there are things that we want and they're different from what we need. Help us to remember that your love is always what we need, that it will fill us up and be enough and that it will never let us down or go out. Thank you, God, for this amazing love. And we pray that you would be with us and walk with us as Jesus promised. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. And I'll let you start thinking about where I might be then. We're traveling all over, talking about God's love and also how much we can learn from all of nature. In the meantime, enjoy that warm weather and start looking for signs of God's love all around you because I promise you, you're going to find it. Until then, have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.